Hello, beautiful people. I hope that all is well on your side. And this day is progressing very, very well for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful loved ones. <clears throat> My black brothers and sisters, here I am in front of the camera ranting again. I rant about many things that make me angry. I rant about things that are insulting, things that are offensive. And I rant about beautiful, intelligent black folks, people that look like me that have been socially engineered by white folks to the point to where they now hate themselves and hate all folks that look like them, especially folks that look like me. I would say to all of you, Love yourself instead of loving the idea of other people loving you. Again, learn to love yourself instead of the idea of other people loving you. That, would, that is where I suggest that all of us start, my black brothers and sisters. Hate Thrasher is always a work in progress. I am not perfect. I have many imperfections. But I have arrived at a place in my life where I am aware of all of my imperfections and in my world, all of my imperfections are perfect to me. I love myself enough to push, to push through all situations, all circumstances, all hardships. I can and I will fight through my bad days to get to my best days. And during the many decades that I have been on this plantation called America and on this planet called Earth, most of my days have been good days. My good days far outweigh my bad days my beautiful black brothers and sisters. I am strong enough. I am strong enough. I will face hard times with courage and determination, aspiration, endurance, endurance, etc., etc. The best of my views come after the hardest climb. The best of my views, the best of my life have come after I have been through a storm and I looked through the storm and I saw the calm and the opportunities at the end of the storm. I love and approve of myself, my black brothers and sisters. You must learn to love and approve of yourself. My best moments are yet to come. I have been here many, many decades, but I am still driven by an aspiration, an inspiration that tells me that my best days are yet to come. The most beautiful things in life come from mistakes and changes. Failures are, are actually 
opportunities, my black brothers and sisters. I see what some folks call failures as opportunities. The opportunity is always in what you see value in. Anything that you see value in, therein lies the opportunity, my black brothers and sisters. The most beautiful things in my life has come from so-called mistakes and changes. You deserve happiness. Your happiness is mostly internal inside of you, my black brothers and sisters. My happiness comes from inside of me. I never have looked for my happiness outside of myself. I am filled with faith, hope, endurance, and peace. Nothing or anything can disrupt, can, can remove the inner peace that I have within me. I have arrived at that place where I know myself. I have discovered my passions. My passions have pointed me to my purpose. My purpose have put me on a path to my destiny, my black brothers and sisters. I am filled with faith and peace. I have the strength to face the mountains before me. There are mountains all around me. There are obstacles being placed in front of me, in back of me, all around me, my black brothers and sisters. And so are you. Your environment is filled with obstacles. People that look like me, Opticals are a daily creation by those white people, those white folks that are filled with stupidity, ignorance, fear, hatred of people that look like me. I've got this, my black brothers and sisters. This is my time to shine. I will spend the remainder of my life shining my light, interacting with people, black folks primarily, and stirring up the light in them. I trust the process. I am a testament to the process, my black brothers and sisters. I accept myself I accept my flaws, and I totally accept all of my imperfections. Today, today, it emanates from me every moment, every day, every week, every month, every year. Positive energy emanates from me. It's in, it's encapsulated in an aura that goes out and captures attention and draws people to me. Know this, my black brothers and sisters, the sun will rise again. Your sun will rise again. Be likened to a lotus flower every morning it senses the sunlight and it bursts through the mud, the dirt, the water, and it captures the sunlight, rejuvenating itself for another eight to 12 hours. And when the sun disappears, that lotus flower retreats back through the water, to the mud, and the, and the dirt, waiting 
until it sense more sunlight. Be the sunlight for others, my black brothers and sisters. Love yourself instead of loving the idea of other people loving you. That's what I have on this one. I welcome your comments. I welcome your critiques. We will talk to you again.